It's week five and today the home group has moved out of San Ignatius College to film somewhere different. The magnificent Adelaide Oval, one of the landmarks of South Australia. We are very happy to be here. We've got a big show lined up for you today, so stick around. Welcome to the home group. It's a horn force off the meat of the bat. It's racing towards the boundary line. Oh, but the tractor's got him in the way. The tractor's on the field. The this is going mad. Oh, but he tackled by Lachlan Kirchner. Oh, he's so built. We got a streak on the field. It's James Ingram. He's stripping it. It's going all the way. It's nice to take the lead in the intercom match. He seems to be in a He should not be looking at too great. Yes, we are here at the Adelaide Oval for today's episode. Excited? I certainly am. Although I must mention that our man Thomas Parada is sick this week, and so I will be filling in for him in the sports report later in the episode. Now let's not waste any time. It's time for the rundown. With the year 10 day of reflection, the SACE music solo performance evening, and a student free day all coming up, this term is certainly not letting up. And of course, the big event is Intercol, which starts next week but I'll have more on that later on in the show. And tonight is the final night of the Year 12 drama production, Away. James Watson, Josie Giorgio, Thomas Prada and Paddy Kelly lead a big cast in what should be a fantastic show. So come along to the Flynn Theatre tonight for your last chance to see it. Now over to the Sports Report. Hello and welcome to the Sports Report. And we are coming to you from Adelaide Oval. It's certainly exciting. Unfortunately, Thomas is sick this week. Big thanks to Jimmy for filling in. Cheers, Kirsch. Now let's get right into the sport. To our Adelaide Oval, we'd better start with the footy. Now the Year 7's held Ross Trevor goalless in a strong victory off the first and second both recorded big wins. The Senior A's got a good win in the basketball against Nazareth, whilst the Open and Primary A's were among several winning soccer teams. On to girls sport, we had some good wins in the badminton and the Year 9 B4 netball which had a draw against Maritville once the game was around. We had a few other netball wins, mainly from our Year 7 and 8 sides. In other sport, the Junior A1 Soccer Girls and the Senior B1 and Junior B1 Hockey teams are victorious. Now next week it's playoff time. We have several teams fighting for glory. In the netball, that's the Open A1, Open B2, Year 9 B1, Year 8 B2 and Year 7 C6 teams. Also playing off in their respective divisions are the Open A1 and Junior A1 Soccer sides. That's a lot of high performances over the season. And it's a good thing we're in such good form, as it means that we are ready for Intercol, which actually begun this week with cross country on Wednesday. With more on Intercol, here's Brittany Calvin. Many incredible sportsmen and women have stepped onto this marvellous ground. Nathan Lyon, Mark Cosgrove, Russell Ebert and Elise Terry. And the list goes on and on. But soon, it's our turn to become the legends. Intercol is a huge event on the college calendar with school pride on the line. We started on Wednesday this week with cross country and now we're recording this on Tuesday. So we'll put the results down here. The rest of the events start next week, week six. So make sure your friends seize the moment to shine. It's make or break time, so give your all, compete like a true Ignatian with dignity, honor and integrity. And let's hope we make that overall shield our own and that we do it with your help. Back to you boys. Thanks, Britt. Welcome. Make sure you get out to the Sport the Wolves next week. And now, footy tips. Yes. There is only one round to go, and boy, oh boy, wowee, it's been a big year. James DeCicio took out round 22 with 9 out of 9, whilst round 21 was tied between Max Wagner and Aglo Capnistis. Now, throughout the course of the season, there has been 47 perfect rounds. James DeCicio, Ed Curtis, Thomas Parada, Liam Robinson, and Alana Melville have each now two perfect rounds whilst Tom Lewis has hit three. Damon Cole has performed well all year. He's won three individual rounds this season. Tom Dorr, Meg Franco, Nick Faraday and Max Wagner have all won two rounds each. But as we near the final hurdle, let's paint a picture of the year so far. Matt Sedano took the lead after the first round, but Damon Kohler of Year 8 won round two and took the overall lead. Now Tom Dorr of Year 9 won rounds four and five, taking the overall lead. He held this for four weeks until Damon retook control. Damon held it for a few more weeks before Georgia DeCono hit the front after round 12. Georgia only had the lead for one week though. Tom Lewis took it in round 13 and has not looked back. He's been pretty extraordinary. Yes indeed. Tom is now equal with Luke Sullivan, but with a superior margin. Ed Curtis sits one behind the leaders. Now DeCono, Annie Dorr, Lucinda Bailey of Year 7 and Handball King Gio Raimondo are all a few tips back 
but still in the hunt with one week to go. Excitement is brewing for the final round. Who will win the fabulous prize? It is anyone's guess. Now we've saved the best for last. This week, we spoke to some of the members of our aerobics team on their magnificent performance in the Nationals final. Let's take a look. Hi guys, I'm here with Chloe, the co-captain of aerobics. Unfortunately, Taylor is the other co-captain and she's sick today. So, uh, Chloe, what is the National Aerobics Championships? So the National Aerobics Championships were held in the Gold Coast this year, which is in Queensland, and that was held in week two. So that's where everyone from the state level that qualifies for the Nationals competes, and then from there they announce them. And how many Ignatius teams went? We had five Ignatius teams this year that qualified for the Nationals. And how did they go? They did really well. We had two firsts and a bronze. Okay. And the two first teams were? The first first team was the Senior Theatrical Dance Team, which was the Awakening, and that was Julie Georgina Condolucci, Taylor Carossi, Michaela Pontillo, Piper Warner, Amelia Sanzo, Chelsea Murray, Bella McGrath, Julia Matteo, and Lauren Sullivan. And the other? And the other team was the Secondary Junior Team, which was Exhilarate, and that consisted of Holly Clark, Olivia Cubie, Zara Toffoli, Mia Catoni, Elizabeth Patio, and Stephanie Watts. So just to clarify, those are the best teams in the country right now for yeah. those categories. Yeah. That is impressive. Well done to the aerobics teams. Good job. Any other questions? So, can you, Lucky, can you please tell me about your involvement in aerobics? Well, it was minimal, unfortunately. I have been trying for the past few years, but I've just never had time. However, the first time of this year, I did participate for a few nights and joined in, and it was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, and would you recommend it for any other boys at the college? I would if you're interested and want to give something new a go, because it's actually a lot of fun, and a lot of fitness comes out of it. Um, yeah, pretty much. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. For your time. Well, that is it for this very special episode of The Home Group. A huge thank you to the team at Adelaide Oval for letting us film here today, as well as to Mr Coulter and Mr Matthew Gartley for organising. Yes, indeed. We'll be back in week seven. But first, this is our last term on The Home Group as year 12, so we are looking for new talent to replace us and potentially return back here next year. It's not just presenters, we need editors, camera operators, poster designers, perfectus writers, and there's no shortage of jobs to do. That's not even mentioning the SES with robots, drones, and 3D printers galore. They're always looking for interested participants. That's right, so make sure that you put your hand up for some of these roles. It's the backstage stuff that really makes the home group tick. As for the on-air presenters, we'll be holding auditions in week six. That's next week. Yes, put in your diary, people. Come down and see if you have what it takes the voice of the colleague. And as we close out today, we've prepared a short video on the benefits of being involved with the home group. Please take this on board and come out to the auditions next week. We'll see you there. Bye! After over a dozen episodes, the current Year 12s will be stepping down from the home group at the end of this term. Of course, this raises the question, who will be replacing us? Next week we will be auditioning for new on-air talent for the home group. Yes indeed. Being part of the home group is a tremendous experience, whether it be in front or behind the camera, and we'll be looking for people to fulfill all roles. So, don't take our word for it, have a look at this. As the current crop of Year 12 step down, Stigert is looking for people to replace the outgoing editors, designers, talented presenters, and Lockie Kirshner. But why should you be on the home group? Being part of the home group gives you great stories. So when I opened it up to edit, the intro was used for the outro! <laughs> <laughs> what a story! <laughs> Being on the home group gives you an excuse to watch yourself all day. Being part of the home group gives you favour with teachers. Okay, well as you already know, this work is due on Friday, but if you're in the home group, it's due Monday. This doesn't actually happen. Viewers are advised that being on the home group will not change your due dates, but may increase the likelihood of having positive interactions with staff members. Being on the home group makes you popular. Well, as school captain, most of my duties... Oh my god! It's like he's in the home group! Being on the home group makes you a school superstar. You guys have pretty started oh. time. Being a part of the home group is one of the most rewarding things you can do at the college. All you need is one lunchtime a fortnight to record. So come along to the auditions next week. Do yourself a favour. Yes indeed, and remember that you're going to have to keep watching the home group. You might as well get on it and make it the best that you can. So keep an eye on the notices for the auditions next week. 